In this video, I'm going to show you guys how we can make a potting mix from home that's going to be pretty much the same thing or even better than what you'd find in the store. Uh, I'll show you guys right here. So something like this, that is typically what you're going to find that's going to be like a high quality potting mix at the store. And this bag cost us $12. So that's really expensive for like one bag of potting mix. And cool thing, making it at home is going to cost way less money. Like ridiculously less money. Real quick guys, Nick here again with the Bravo 6 Gardener. If you guys end up enjoying this video, I would super appreciate a thumbs up. Also, if you wanna see more gardening how-tos, tips, and tutorial videos, I do them at least weekly, probably more once we get into the growing season. I'm excited for today's video. Let's get into it, guys. So probably the biggest reason I'm making this video, I see a lot of beginner gardeners um, getting really discouraged when they go to buy potting soil to use for their garden. Like I said, the one bag of potting mix costs us $12. That's it's kind of going to be the going rate for a high quality potting mix that you can get from the store. Anywhere from like the 10 to $15 range is what it's going to cost you. And that's kind of a bummer. You know, that one bag is going to fill up a couple, maybe three, four containers, if that, depending on the size of the container that you're using. If you're wanting to do a good amount of gardening, you know, if you're looking at 10 containers or more, that's really going to add up. Just a quick note, for those of you that have been gardening for a while, this video might be a little bit of a review for you guys. You know, we're not reinventing the wheel here by any means, but I want to put a, a big emphasis on how much money you can save by making your own potting mix versus going to the store and buying it. It's a lot, like it's a ridiculously large amount of money you will save by making your own potting mix as opposed to buying it from the store. So again, the bag we have here is what's gonna be considered a high quality potting mix. This is what a lot of beginning gardeners would go to use for a potting mix. What's in this bag is good and will work. I'm not necessarily a fan of miracle Grow products, but again, it would work and it's just so overpriced and you can easily make the same thing yourself. So down here, if we look at the ingredients, we can see this is formulated from peat moss, perlite, compost, fertilizer, and yucca. That is exactly the ingredients I'm gonna show you guys for the potting mix that we're gonna make today, except for yucca. I have no idea what yucca is, to be honest. All right, guys, so here's everything that we're gonna need for this. So we're gonna be using peat moss, compost, any age finished compost is gonna be totally fine, perlite, and uh, fertilizer. Fertilizer is gonna be optional. You don't have to do that. It'll help out a little bit with your mix though. And then we're just using a storage tote to mix all this in. First thing we wanna put in is going to be our peat moss. You know, I worked up the cost on the peat moss for how much it's gonna take for one three gallon container. And it comes out to about 40 or 50 cents, somewhere right in there. So when we're, I'm gonna factor up again, this uh, cost for a three gallon container here. So we're just gonna call it 45 cents when we go to factor up how much that's gonna cost. And I've went ahead, I've already went ahead and done that for each of the products. I figured out how much it's gonna cost in perlite, how much it's gonna cost in peat moss, compost, fertilizer, everything. As far as the ratio goes for how much of everything we're gonna use, it is not an exact science, but kind of a good guide I like to go off of is two parts peat moss, two parts compost to one part perlite. So like for example, if we were using the scoop, I would do two scoops uh, peat moss, two, sco two scoops compost, and then one scoop perlite. Fertilizer is basically just a handful, no exact science to that really. So we've got the 3.8 cubic foot bag of peat moss. It costs us $11.50. Again, I factored in how much, what we're using for the container costs comes out to, we're just gonna call it 45 cents. It should be available at any home improvement store or check with your local greenhouse or nursery. They should have it as well. And the reason we're doing the peat moss first, something very important that we wanna do when we're creating this potting mix, we wanna wet our peat moss before we add anything else to it. So peat moss will actually resist water at first. Like if I put water in here right now, all the water is gonna go to the bottom and I basically just have to agitate it to the point where the peat moss has absorbed it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And again, there's no exact science. We're basically just gonna add a little bit to this until we get a good consistency. And we'll go ahead and add a little bit more. You don't want it super soaking wet, but you just want it enough to the point where it's not resisting water anymore. So this is probably pretty good. I'll bring it up so you guys can see. So if I take this, 
and if I ball it up and I've got a few drips coming out there, that means it's good. So next ingredient is going to be our compost. Again, we're doing two parts uh, peat moss to two parts compost. So we don't really have to measure it out. We're basically just going to do the exact same amount uh, compost that we did peat moss. So that's about good right there. The cost of the compost came out to about eight cents. Again, it's not an exact science, but that's roughly the number that I came up with um, to coordinate to one three gallon uh, container that we're gonna use here. And you know, the, the reason for compost for you beginner gardeners, you know, compost is gonna give us our organic matter. The organic matter is what's going to feed your soil. And then that in turn is what is going to feed your plants. So that's kind of the reasoning for the organic matter. And again, the cost of these numbers is not gonna be exact. We're just kind of using it as a yardstick to give us an accurate idea of how much it's gonna to cost to fill us one of these buckets here. I go to my uh, local resource supply center and I get the bed of my truck filled up with compost for like $10. If you can find a good landscape supply center, it's gonna be super affordable. If you don't have a landscape supply center near you, some people will sell compost independently. Like if you've got a farm, horse farm, uh, chickens, that kind of thing. A lot of people will sell it that way. So check for that if you don't have a supply center. And if you don't have a truck, a lot of people will deliver compost to you. I know my landscape supply center offers delivery and you might get like farmers that would deliver it out to you if you paid them. And it's still gonna come out to be way less Less expensive than again if you're going and buying a bagged potting mix. So again next ingredient is going to be our perlite and I'm just eyeballing it not an exact science we're basically just getting it to where we've got a good amount of perlite in here and if we need to we can add as we go. Cost us about 20 cents worth of perlite that we're putting in here. You might not be able to find perlite at like your home improvement store in bulk but again most greenhouses or nurseries should give you bulk perlite availability. I know the I don't have the bag here but the bag I got cost ten dollars. It's like a it's a super huge bag. It's like this tall. And then the last ingredient is going to be our fertilizer. So again with our fertilizer we're just putting in a handful. Doesn't have to be an exact amount. I just do a handful in there. Quick tip on fertilizer while we're talking about it. Um, I strongly recommend using an organic fertilizer as opposed to a synthetic or man-made. With man-made fertilizers, it's much easier to overfeed or burn your plants when you're feeding them. An organic fertilizer, again, organic, it's, it's occurring naturally. So it, it's gonna be much more difficult for you to give your plant too much of it. They should be available at your home improvement store. Again, if not your local greenhouse or nursery, and there's plenty of accessibility to organic fertilizers online. I'll put some links to Amazon for those as well so you guys can get some ideas on organic fertilizer. And it's gonna cost you a little bit more money up front since we're kind of buying in bulk here to an extent. But again, you are going to save so much money if you make your potting soil like this. So the cost, if we add all that up, again, we're averaging 45 cents for our peat moss. Compost came out to eight cents. Perlite came out to 20 cents and our fertilizer came out to five cents. If I did my math correctly, that comes out to 78 cents for all the ingredients to put into one of these containers. And then comparing that to the, the, the pre-made mix, if we wanted to fill one of these containers, it's going to cost us $8. So it's basically like a bag of this is going to fill one and a half of these. 78 cents is the cost to fill one of these with our homemade mix, $8 to fill one of those with the store-bought mix. That's terrible. Okay, so I will bring both of these up close just so you guys can see. So again, this mix is our homemade mix and this mix is our store-bought mix. So just so you guys can see the consistency of that homemade mix. I don't know how well you guys can see that. If we ball it up in our hand, it makes a ball, but if we gently let it go it crumbles right apart that's kind of the consistency that we're looking for and if you look at these two they actually look almost identical you know uh, they both have the same ingredients uh, peat moss perlite compost fertilizer again 78 cents eight dollars and they are literally the exact same thing. And so just another number to think about. So if you do a good amount of gardening, say you wanted to do 10 of these containers you needed to fill up, think about the cost of that. So again, the, the store-bought stuff, it's gonna cost about $8 to fill a container. That's 
if you wanted to fill 10 containers or if you wanted to fill you know 20 containers that's 160 dollars that's a lot of money that is not cost effective to be gardening with uh, it, it doesn't financially make sense now again the cost in your area might not be exactly the same as mine but even if it varies a little bit even if this is a dollar 50 a container versus eight you're still saving a ton of money and also what i'll do i'll put links down below for as many good products i can find that you can actually purchase online to help you guys out with sourcing these I'll also put the link to the container mix if I'm able to find it online, just so you guys can check that out. Again, this is probably a pretty good mix and I'm gonna use it in my garden. It'll probably work well. It just, it just doesn't make sense to use that when you can make the same mix for literally a tenth of the price. And as far as products online that I found, there's a really good organic fertilizer that I found online. I'll put an Amazon link down in the description below for that. I've also bought Perlite before on Amazon and it actually comes out to be fairly cost effective again compared to doing a potting mix from the store. I'll put a link down below for that as well. And guys, I have been gardening for years and only last year have I exclusively made my potting mix like this. If I had done this from the get-go as opposed to buying bagged mixes from the store every time I needed potting mix, I would have saved hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, maybe even thousands, I don't know. I would have saved a lot of money if I would have made my own mix as opposed to going to the store. So again, you can save so much money. I strongly recommend making your own mix. Um, it's fun to get out here, get your hands dirty out in the garden anyway, so why not do it? I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. If you guys enjoyed this video, I would super appreciate a thumbs up. Also, if you wanna see more gardening how-to tips videos from the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I plan on doing gardening how-to videos weekly, maybe even more once we get into the growing season, we'll see. That's all I got. See you guys next time, bye.